Howdy, howdy folks. Welcome back to another video. I'm so excited that you're here. Facebook Business Suite, or sorry, previously Facebook Business Suite, now Meta Business Suite is what we're going to be covering today. And I actually quite like this change that Facebook has put out. Uh, a lot of you may have questions about the difference between Facebook Business Suite and Facebook Business Manager. They are not one in the same, but they do mesh together quite well. And we'll talk about the differences in this video. And we'll talk about how you can use Facebook Business Suite in order to grow your business, respond to customers, and make sure that you're managing your Facebook and Instagram profiles correctly. So by the end of this video, you'll have all those questions answered. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into my computer and you'll see we're already inside of Facebook Business Suite here. So I've got business.facebook.com pulled up. And if you have access to Business Suite, then this is the page that will likely show up. And it says Meta Business Suite, as you can see here. Then we've got all of these options on the side and then sort of this dashboard here in the home tab. So the first thing I wanna cover is this up here. You see that I have ortho patients selected. That's the name of my marketing agency. And if I click on this, I've got tons of other pages connected to my Facebook account that I can access through Meta Business Suite. So let's go ahead and check out this one, which is just a dummy page I made at one point. And you can see that it looks exactly the same, but this is for a different business. So this gets very useful if you have multiple pages that you need to respond to people through. Let's go ahead and head back to this one here. From this homepage, we can click here to manage our Facebook page. We can come back here and create a post. We can come here and create a story or create an ad, which is great. You can also add to-do lists, which is kind of cool and make sure that we're getting the things done that we wanna get done for our business online and we can look at our recent stories, the performance of those, the planners, it's kind of like a hub of what all of the different uh, aspects of Business Suite can do for you. Now let's come here to notifications and you'll see pretty straightforward. This is gonna be all of the uh, things that have happened to your Facebook or Instagram profiles, as long as both of them are integrated here. And then if we come to inbox, this is where it gets very, very cool. We've got all messages, from all of these different places in one spot, which is super helpful. So if we want to see just Messenger messages, we can click here. Just Instagram messages, we can click here. If we wanna see comments on Facebook and Instagram, we can click here. And then if we wanna see um, how to integrate this chat plugin, we can click here. If you guys don't know what this is, this can go in the corner of your website. Very helpful, completely free through Facebook and uh, can really help you generate a lot of leads through your website if you're not doing this already. So all of these messaging channels, we can respond to people directly in all messages here, which is pretty cool. And we can filter, we can manage the messages by moving them to different folders, marking them as follow-up or non-follow-up, moving to spam, whatever it is. Very cool, lots of amazing features in here. Facebook really nailed this messaging part. If we come here, we can see all of the posts that we've put out recently on our Facebook page. And then we can also go to view insights and see the results from our page, from our content. We can switch to, um, I don't think we've made a post. <laughs> I haven't made a post on my Facebook page in a long time, uh, but I would be able to see the content here for that. And then uh, I can go to my audience, see you know who likes my page, what age and gender they are, all this kind of thing inside. And as you'll notice, this has taken us here to all tools, which we'll come back to in just a minute. So coming back to posts and stories, uh, we can look and do the same things for our scheduled and archived stories. We can look at our Facebook feed and our Instagram feed easily from here, kind of see what the aesthetic looks like, all from a desktop computer, which helps because if you're like me, you get really distracted from your phone. If we come to Facebook photos, we can see all the photos we've used, uh, create albums from these, and then mentions and tags as well. Now let's come up here to create post. This dashboard is truly next level because there's not a ton of places. There's only one other place that I know of on Facebook where you can post from a desktop to Instagram. And not only can we post to Facebook and Instagram at the same time, but if we only want to post to Instagram, we can take Facebook off, write in the text, add the photo that we want, and then enter our location, do everything that we'd be able to do if we we're posting to Instagram from our mobile phone but also see what it would look like on Facebook and Instagram kind of toggle between these two views on Facebook. We can add uh, links, talk, you know, add raise money, all of this stuff, all from business suite, which is incredible. We'll go ahead and discard changes and keep going down. Awesome. Now let's check out this planner. This is a very cool feature as well. 
Uh, it'll give you some prompts, some moments, things that you can add uh, specific posts for. And then we can come in here, also click create again, talk about it in here. And then instead of publishing here, we just click optimal times and we schedule that out. This is just like those like social media planning apps like Buffer or Later, except you're able to do it directly inside of Facebook and you don't have to pay. Uh, I haven't used those apps, so I'm not sure how much better this experience is or worse this experience is than those apps, but I would highly recommend just using the native planning feature in here because it's quite good. All right, next up in our menu here, we've got ads. I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you do not run ads through Business Suite like this. If I click Create Ad, here you'll see it's a very simple interface uh, that doesn't allow you the same level of targeting and other things that you would have inside of Facebook Business Manager and uh, Facebook Ads Manager, which I'll show you in just a second how to get there. Now let's come to all tools and just look at all this other stuff that it gives us. There's a lot in here. So again, we can see our business feed, inbox planner, posts and stories. We've seen all of these things before. Billing, business apps, file manager, page settings, view page, advertising, all that we can go to ads manager, audiences, events manager. Um, all of these things are much more advanced. And again, I'll show you how you can get to them in a little bit better interface. I would not recommend accessing them from this all tools menu again. One thing I do want to mention is that if you come here to edit, you can actually customize what's on your menu on the left hand side, which is very cool. So let's say I wanted, for example, my billing to be on the left hand menu as well as ads manager because I want to directly access ads manager when I come to business suite, I can click save. When I move my mouse over here, you can see I've got billing and ads manager over here on the left. Very cool, very useful. All right, now how would I recommend running ads and what are these more advanced features I'm talking about? If I go ahead and click here on ads manager, it's going to take me inside of something that looks quite different. And if I click business home, you'll see I'm now inside business manager. Up here, you can see it's called business manager and this one's called meta business suite. Inside of business manager, we've got tons more settings, tons more you know complicated things in a different interface. This is much more advanced and that's why Meta created Facebook Business Suite or Meta Business Suite because they needed a simpler version for people who didn't want to get into the weeds of all this stuff in here. If you're interested in how to use Business Manager, I just released a video on that so make sure you go check it out. I'll link it down below and you can check out all of those more in-depth advanced features. But one more thing we should cover in this video before you go to that video is coming here to settings and looking at all of the different options you have to add assets, people and other info to your business suite. So as you can see up here, now I've got OrthoPatients2, which is a business account. This is actually my business manager. And you can see now I'm accessing that instead of accessing the page. But if I come back here to home, it's gonna switch it to the page. So when I come to settings, this is where I would add people to my business manager account. It's not really my business suite, but they'd be added to my business suite automatically. So what I do to add a person is just come here to add people. Maybe I wanna add an employee or somebody else. I always give everybody admin access because they shouldn't be in there if you don't trust them. You just type in their email, click next, and then choose which assets you like them to have access to inside of here. So I can come to add accounts, select a few ad accounts, and then click that they have uh, the ability to manage those ad accounts. Come to uh, pages, we can do the same thing, add them to the Facebook uh, ortho patients business page, and then send that invitation. That person would be able to access all of my stuff because of that invitation that I've sent them. Very cool. But again, all of this can be done inside of business manager, and it's a little bit better to set it up inside of there. And again, watch that other video because the pages, the ad accounts, all of that kind of thing, you need to understand Facebook business manager in order to use business suite to its full potential. Now, if you don't want to use Business Suite to its full potential and all you want to do is use these awesome little features that they've added that are quite simple and useful, be my guest. You do not have to do anything with Business Manager. But if you want to go ahead and watch my Business Manager video, you won't regret it. I promise. And guys, with all of that said, that's it for this video. As you can see, it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward, but lots of value inside the Business Suite. I hope you got some value out of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.